Say all right, first and foremost, and I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashemi or Shai Bashemi Kakodash. We sit down and support and allow us to bring us and rule our teachers or person the truth. And we take salutations for the Akamas to put you with the truth and sincerity day in and day out on a constantly in season of season. We say shalom. And once again, good entire video here, and let's basically continue in the series. Um, Christianity teaches that the sin or the or the or the or the teaches their lies, right? And that is going into again is a, is a basically a mini series that, that I've been doing, going into this one post. But there's so much of things that they could go into with this one um, discussion that was taking place here, um, and many ways that they could go with it, right? Where they went off with the scriptures, they went off with the Mark seven, you know, they went off with with the with the laws, the commandments, and so forth, which they usually do um, with all the stuff that that is written in the Bible, right? But all the stuff that written in the Bible, they go off it. They make up their own doctrines. They make up their own their own beliefs. You know, and they teach it. And people believe that that is the way it is. Or that is the truth. When it's far from the truth. Right? And um, so, as I said, this is like, I believe, part three or part four into the, into the series. And this part I want to touch upon today, which she said Christians just barely follow the book. Which is true. Right? And now let's start with the book of Proverbs. Chapter 28, and I'll go to verse 9. Yeah, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 9. That's not <clears throat> right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 9. It says, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Right, and this this goes into to what, what we have been touching about in this series. How they teach that, they, they basically te teach it to sin. Right. That the laws done away with, that they can eat, as it say here, um, declared all foods clean, right? Which is not true, right? It's that is not true. One of the things like that, one of the things I love to tell you is that the law done away with, right? And that's not true. So what the scripture said here, Proverbs twenty eight verse nine, chapter twenty eight verse nine. He that he that turn it away. Away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So this will show you how important it is to hear the law, right? How important it is just to hear the law. So furthermore, um, to keep it. But these people outside here, Christianity, telling you that that the law done away with, that they could go ahead and eat all meats, that they could continue to sin, right? Continue to do wickedness. But they love, they love to bring up, as I said before many times in, this, in, um, in the earlier parts, that they love to bring up the tithes law. They love to bring up the, the um, you shall not hate your brother, thou shall not kill. And these, these things, all these things, where, where, where are those things are? Are those, are those stuff that they're quoting, are those not laws? So it goes to show that we're supposed to follow the laws. Right, so it 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 that was it goes into the title that that are saying that Christianity teaches that to sin, and it teaches a lie. The teaching it lies. So that's why when she said Christians just barely follow the book, it's true they don't follow the book at all. They follow what they think in the mind, or what they think in the heart. <clears throat> right. Yes. Yeah, so continuing. So the teachers say when they, what they think in the heart or when the mind, but never the truth, never, never the truth, right? Because if 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 they love they love the book of Psalms, they love the book of Proverbs, right? Um, when it comes to when it comes to to telling someone something, they will bring out the old, right? But when it's when it's stuff like this, they will say, nah, the old done away with, right? The laws done away with, just like you see someone said here. Um, that's like this person here. Oh, loud and wrong. Those those are restrictions of the Mosaic covenant that Christians are no longer bound to bound to, but free to to still follow. And that's wrong. That's totally wrong. So this will show you how Christianity again. Christianity teaches it a sin, and it teaches the teaching here lies. Lies. Right. That's how important it is that the script. How important it is that you have to abide in what in the word of the Lord. And Christianity, they don't teach you the word of the Lord. They don't teach you the things of the Lord. Right? Because how, how could you tell a man to continue to sin, continue to eat pork, continue to 
eat shrimp and these other stuff that they're not supposed to be eating and then come and tell them pray ask for mercy so the scripture says he that turn it away is he is he that turn it away is air from here in the law even his prayer shall be an abomination so it go again shows how important it is to for to, to hear the law furthermore that you have to keep it right <clears throat> So let's say, stick in the book of Proverbs and let's go to verse chapter, Proverbs chapter 6. Right? Um, this is the book of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. They say, for the, for the commandment is a lamp. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. And the law is light. And the and reproofs of instructions are the way of life. Huh. And these and and let's imagine Christianity are the ones telling it that these that the, that the commandments are important, that the Lord is not important. Those are things done away with. So then how are you going to tell a man he's sinning? Matter of fact, why are they telling you you're sinning? If all if the Lord's done away with those things that are important and so forth and so on, so then nobody ain't sinning. Everybody, every, everybody righteous then. You see, this is show you that, that, hey, Christianity is just basically madness. Madness. It's like listening to, to a person that, that you, know, you, you know, the minor right. I know, you know, they, they just be speaking a whole sort of um, nonsense. You know, there's, there's speaking, speaking stuff and it makes no sense. That is like, that is what Christianity is. That's nonsense. They, they be spewing out on a daily basis. Right? <clears throat> um, let's go to the next script. A uh, script here. Um, go to the next script here. You know what? Um, the book of Proverbs 4 verse 4. Right? This is the book of Proverbs 4 verse 4. It says, He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my commandments and live. No, we know they love to, they love to see the old done away with. And furthermore, I get into the series. As I said, the Mark chapter 7 will be done. Right? We'll do a video on that. And I will... <clears throat> Try to bring out more. It, it, it goes to show that, hey, <laughs> what is the same? What is the teaching? Every single thing that they teach is off. It's off. It's just a set of lies. Right? So she was right when she said, Christians just barely follow the book because the, the, the precepts you bring in is telling you what? Right? He taught me also. And said unto me, let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. So we don't know one time they not follow any book at all. This, look this person here. This is why we thank God for the Messiah and grace. We not bound to the Old Testament way. Go back and read up on your identity. Alright, and this I will save this because this might be the next part of the video. We would go to the new. Right? But it just goes to show that that hey, these people are way off. Because look this person here. This person here even quoted Matthew 15 verse 11. And not what goes in your mouth defiles you. You are defiled by the words that come out of your mouth. Right? And that have nothing to do with food. <laughs> that have nothing to do with food. 
This next person marked the old law was abolished, so we no longer have to live by it. I will save that as well. Right? Now, I already, in the earlier versions, you know, in the earlier um, episodes, I did touch upon certain things of this. But now I will take one and go into it and show. Right? And show. So, the new, so this was something the New Testament literally says we can't call anything God made unclean. So you can eat if you want because the Old Testament rules don't apply anymore. Well, then go out and be a homo. I'm going to say that because they don't be in that already. Right? They don't be in that already. Well, then go and kill. If it's, if it's the Old Testament, do, do, do stand and go on, then go on, um, then go and sleep with animals then. No, I say certain things will be harsh, but those are laws that those those things written as laws that they're not supposed to do. A man not supposed to go onto another man and a, and and onto a beast. If those things done away with, so then all are free to go and do, do that. So so that is the thing. Christianity is like is like the teaching here. It is free to go ahead and sin. Like this next this next person is one of the people that believe Peter, Peter, <laughs> this, this and again this is Christianity fear. <laughs> this person mark updating your holy book is crazy, that, and that's true. That's true. That is it's crazy when you think about it. <sighs> this person mark you can't just pick and choose God commandments to, and that is right. You can't. So that is why you say. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. You can't pick and choose. Uh, and as this person said, this is why nobody takes them serious. That's true. That's why people just laugh at them. Because one minute they're telling you one thing, the Lord done away with. Right? You're not supposed to follow the laws. And then they want to come back to the laws when it's time to keep the tithes. When it's time to um, say you're sinning. When you're doing something wrong, you're sinning. It's time to go to the law. You know? But in the Lord done away with And I see people they're dealing with that is Christianity fair. Yes, there's no truth in them. Right? <clears throat> there's no truth in these people at all, at all, at all, at all. They just way off. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 4 and I'll go read verse. Verse 1, it says, Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgment which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live, and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish out from it. <laughs> and that is what they're doing. Right? That is what they're doing. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Man, Hey, yo, Christianity is over with. And if you're still following Christianity, something wrong with you. As this person say here, what this person, man, um, internet giving out trouble. What the person now say, um, updating the book is crazy, right? But something, you know, say, um, that is why nobody does take them serious. Right? That is why nobody does take them serious. Right? And the further, the further, um, parts you go into, you would understand. They, as you can see, these jigs. All of these people here is jigs. You see this next wicked one say, I be tearing bacon, the F up. And the judgment will soon arise unto them. You know, this wicked woman and so forth. I'm going to jump on a little bit. They say, keep verse 6. They say, um, no, verse 5. They say, behold, I taught you statutes and judgments, even as, lo as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should go so, that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, but this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great, great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great? Who had God who had God so nigh unto them? As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. So as the, as the scriptures say, they keep their for and do them. Not say they done away with. Not say they diminish. Not say they, 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 they finish. But to keep them and do them. Right? 
<laughs> so and, and that's why I said of the Proverbs, the 20, chapter 28. In here in this law, even a prayer shall be an abomination. It's straight out fear. How important the laws are. Right? So with that, we give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yosha, Bashem, Kakodash. We said that we are supposed to be elders of Greek Muslims and Rubal, teachers of person who should. And we see salutations so the Akamas, the Pushmun, and Church and Society. Day in and day out, and constantly in season and season, we say, Shalom.